So over the Christmas holidays, mum decided to clean out the house. She wanted to go into the cupboards she hasn't been in for a while, open up some boxes that she's not looked in for a long time, and basically just give the house a bit of a spring clean. And she knows what I do, selling on eBay, trying to make a profit off old items. And uh, she actually found quite a few really cool things. So much so that I immediately had to turn the camera on and take you guys along for the ride with me. So we're gonna go into that today. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that mum's had lying around the house for decades and you'll be shocked at how much it's actually worth on eBay. So let's get into the video guys. I'll show you what I've been able to find. So the first thing I found was this VCR player with the old school VHS tapes. Mum didn't actually think this one was worth anything, but as you'll see a little later in the video, uh, worth quite a few dollars. All right, this is the box that actually caught mum's interest the most and she wanted to get in touch with me to see if there was any form of value for these on eBay. And little did she know that she had some first editions. Um, these vinyl records, they are worth quite a bit of money. Initially back, you know, 40, 50 years ago, it would have only been worth maybe 10 to $20. But as you'll see here, a 1975 Alice Cooper record, this can go for some serious money nowadays. And because they're in such good condition, just kept away in the cupboard, the, the value of these things is actually quite a lot and stick around until the end of the video because I'll show you some of the best price points of some of these records in here. But we're talking Fleetwood Mac, we've got a Black Sabbath Paranoid uh, vinyl record here as well, um, some Alice Cooper as well. These are really sought after nowadays and they are actually quite hard to come by. So it, really one thing to pay attention to that I've come to realize as well is that the artwork or the, the pressing of the vinyl record itself is actually where the value lies. So if you've got a first edition, one that was sort of original 40 to 50 years ago, like a lot of these, that's where you get your value. So considering all of these are in excellent condition, they've just been sitting in a cupboard, um, I'm very, very excited about going through all of these to work out exactly how much they're worth. I always look for op shops and garage sales and thrift stores for these sorts of things, but truly they are quite hard to come by. I've actually never come across any of any real worth, but I'm already seeing some bands here that are worth some money. Doesn't get any more vintage than this next find. This was the old school Sony Handycam that I had growing up as a kid. It was the family video camera, a lot of video memories captured on film, put onto a VHS tape, which I've still actually got here. You'll see them a little later in the video. We've got a bunch of DVDs um, or VHS tapes, I should say. Um, so these Sony Handycams, they actually can be worth quite a few dollars. And this one looked like it was still complete with all the accessories in the bag. So that was a really cool find. So we'll finish up in that cupboard. There was a few things grabbed that I do want to have a look at the price points on, but there is a second cupboard here to have a look at across the hall. Any items that um, I guess aren't going to be sold onto eBay are just going to be sent to the op shops or even the tip if there's just no value in them. But um, there's a lot of plush toys here. This is where my problem with the plush started, guys. This was my collection as a kid. My sister's as well. Uh, as we were growing up. That's a Mr. Bean teddy bear. You can sell him for about $30 on eBay. So I really do think, I, I always stress in my videos, there's just so much money to be made selling plush toys on eBay. So if you've got your old toys from growing up as a kid, definitely get them on there because you can get, you know, 20, 30, $40 a piece for some of these toys. Um, have a look in the boxes as well. And this box here, this is actually mum's Barbie doll collection from at, when she was a kid growing up. So this is probably about 40 to about, four, I don't want to give mum's age away, but about 40 years old worth of Barbie doll toys here. So a really cool collection. Um, just uh, look, something to look into, that one there. I'll have a bit of a look into that one because that one looks complete. Anything with the accessories are always worth a few more dollars and there looks like there's plenty of accessories in this box. So could be a little wood gem of a find that one there.
I, I knew straight away that as soon as there was some old VCRs, they are actually worth quite a bit of money. So to find that one there, I'll do a quick search on NVHD630 and I'll whack a comp up for you to have a look at, but that should work completely fine because that's just been hiding in this box for a fair while now. We've got some old tapes in there. Um, we've got you know, my old Canberra, uh, what's that, Canberra and Beyond the Movie. That would have been a school trip, um, VHS. And then in here, I've got a, yeah, another Canberra excursion, a wedding video. So there's a lot of old sort of family VHS videos in there, but um, this thing should work. I'll plug it in and see, but uh, there's nothing in there. But it should go for some good money. This was the other electronic as well, the old school Handycam, the Sony. Um, that one should go for some good money. Again, I'll do some comp searching on that one and put a comp up for you to have a look at. But um, that was really good because not only did it come with this old school bag, but it's got all the battery packs along with it as well. Um, all the correct cabling, the old school cabling. So the power docks there, um, it is complete. And it even had the manual. Look at that the old school Handycam manual as well. So I think we'll get some really good money for that one. Um, I remember using that as a kid. That's when I first made my ever first ever video. It was on one of these Sony Handycams. So that's kind of cool to see. I hadn't seen that for years. Um, these Barbie dolls, uh, 1963. So this is, I think, I don't exactly, look, it's mum. That's mum's old, old address um, from about 30, 40 years ago when she was a kid. But um, this is uh, pretty old school stuff. I'm thinking it's pretty much in the 60s, the 1960s, um, with the Barbie doll collection here. I don't know exactly who these guys are, but geez, that actually looks quite creepy. Um, but that one had a Mattel 1963 on it. So I'm gonna do some research into that one and we'll work out what that one's worth as well. But I think the biggest thing that I, I noticed out of all of this was actually these records. Um, some of these records were pretty outrageous. Um, obviously Alice Cooper, there were a few Alice Coopers. ZZ Top was in here as well. So um, you would have seen earlier a bit of a run through of some of these, like this one here as well. Look at that, Recycler from ZZ Top. I never see any of these sort of records when I'm out in the thrift. Um, split ends, they've always just been picked over. So to be able to see all of these in one box hiding in the cupboard at mum and dad's place, um, this is pretty crazy. So I actually want to spend a bit of time comping up these records just to see I guess how much they're worth obviously but there could be quite a few dollars to be made in this lot here so i'm pretty interested to check that out so the good thing about all of these records is they're all sort of first editions um that's sort of a lot of them are, are reading sort of in the 60s and the 70s um original releases which is always going to be worth a few more dollars so i'm actually anticipating this is going to be worth quite a bit of money but um i'm going to put it onto ebay now and just do a bit of a sold search to see what some of them are worth and we'll just see how much in total all of these records are worth. So Trey Ombre from ZZ Top, there was a comp here for $150. Now, this is an original 1973 London records. So it's a first release, uh, it's an original record, it's in good condition, and there is a comp here for 150 bucks. So Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac Rumours, there are multiple copies going between $40 to $50 for that one. This is a Led Zeppelin vinyl and it goes for $60 in pre-owned condition. So Houses of the Holly by Led Zeppelin. All right, so this one looks sharp, rock set. I have never even heard of rock set. Let me know in the comments if you have. Um, this one goes for, this one goes for $80, rock set. Now have a look at the record itself. It's a 1988. I think it's obviously got to be a first edition as well. We've got Cold Chisel East, another one that goes for $80. Looks like In Excess Kick goes for about $50, so that's not too bad either. Yeah. Looks like Black Sabbath Paranoid goes for about $60 as well. Okay, so this one here I think is the best of the bunch. We've got Living in the 70s by Skyhooks. It's, there's $150 on comps for this one. So 150 bucks plus postage, but mum has told me about this one. It's actually been signed by Shirley of Skyhooks as well right there. So I don't know if you can see that. It just says to Deb, Shirley of Skyhooks. I think he's passed away as well on a plane crash. So He's no longer with us, but that one is a signed living in the 70s from Skyhook. So I can only imagine what that one might be worth, but $150, even if it wasn't signed. So, 
So all up, there are 61 records here and I've had a look on eBay and I've actually blown away the estimated resale value of all of these per exactly what they are on eBay, $2,250 out of these 61 records. So I'm absolutely blown away by the fact that they've literally just been sitting in the staircase for decades. Mum had them when she grew up in the 60s and the 70s. She's continued to basically move them on into every new house that she's been in. And now it's been here for a good 10 years at this house. So they've never been played, they've never been used, obviously from back in the day when they were originally, but they've just sat in the cupboard for quite a while. And if they were to be sold, which is the one thing that I need to do is speak to mum about whether or not she wants to sell them. There's $2,250 worth of value there. So do you have any records lying around? Have you got an old um, video cassette recorder or a, um, a handy cam like I've just been able to find? There's some serious money in these old pieces of equipment. Um, a lot of the plush toys, as you would have seen downstairs as well, I'm gonna have to sift through that at some point, but there's so many cool things that we've got literally lying around the house worth big, big money. So. I'm absolutely blown away by this little find today. I think mum will part with these records and, and put them up for grabs for sale. So they may be on my eBay store over the next couple of weeks, but um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, just sifting through some stuff here at the house to hopefully give you some inspiration to go and have a look through your own house to see what you might have, or even go to your parents' house because that's probably where the vintage fun stuff is as well. So um, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. My 30% club is that stick to the end of these videos. You guys are the best. I'll see you on Sunday for another video.